What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz here. Got a mail day. And it's not an April Fool's mail day. Sorry, it's going to be a real video. I'm not going to fool you guys here. But I got a mail day video. I picked up some stuff at a local LGS. Haven't really done one of these. It's going to be basically focused on that. And just kind of showing you some of the stuff I just purchased. Bangers. Bangers. And talking about a mistake I almost made. And let's jump right into that. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We got some purchases, the purchases I made today. So I purchased uh, some vintage first edition Legacy of Darkness packs. These were unweighed for my local LGS. And they were actually unweighed because I ended up pulling this card, which was a childhood favorite card of mine. And I played it in every deck. Until it was just power creeped out of the game. But this was awesome. It was like a, a giddy. I was like a giddy girl when I pulled this out of the pack. Um, zoom in here a little bit. Absolutely love this card. 1900 attack which was just amazing. I just dropped half of the cards. Luckily not the good one. But this thing absolutely collapsed. The other pack, I pulled a uh, just a rare, but love the way this card looks. Mint condition was a huge pickup. Um, yeah, I was kind of sad that I didn't record myself opening it, but I don't open Yu-Gi-Oh cards for this channel. But I was more way too excited just to have it in my hands, and I basically could not wait to get home to open it that was my main problem because i don't really care that i don't open Yu-Gi-Oh for this channel because i have done it before and i just do what i want to do but i was more excited just to open it while i had it in my hands so that's what i did now i'm picking these cards up off the ground that took 30 minutes um so yeah a couple of purchases here uh kind of one of these is a purchase two of these are purchases so this first one I bought raw off of a Yu-Gi-Oh group for about $150 or so, $140. Um, this is Rise of the Storm Monarch. This card absolutely shredded when it came out. This card was played in every deck, a machine deck, a, a hero deck, monarchs, just every single possible deck just because of its effect. Essentially, like, could you, just any game type, You when you put this on the board, you get to pick a card on your opponent's side of the field and put it on top of their deck. So it literally just sets them back one turn um, and clears their field. So this thing just, when this came out, it was unmatched and absolutely destroyed. Currently pop zero PSA 10s with this rarity. This is ultimate rare. Um, I was really hoping this would pull the 10. As the corners are really minty. I actually have not seen the actual flaw that would give this the 9, personally, but some, these cards do have like a big, a square indent on the back because of this hollow pattern, as you can imagine. It's a big emboss, but absolutely love this card, growing straight to the personal collection. I think the pop uh, for the uh, PSA 9s is like 10, 10 or 11 now. I bought a first edition PSA 9 Zapdos. I mentioned it, I think, in a live video. Um, mine sold. So I, ha I have all of my cards listed on eBay. The cards I like, like this Zapdos, were listed high above market value. So I had my Zapdos listed at $1,800. Somebody purchased it. And... I instantly turned around and purchased a cheaper one off of eBay for $1,300, this one. Um, he had it listed, for, I think, for $15, but he took um, took my offer. Uh, it's got a thick stamp, brand new cert. Um, could not be happier with my upgrade. Really clean nine. It's got the one nick down here, but really clean. No, no print line, nothing. Looks really good, so really happy with that upgrade. 
uh, another purchase from my local LGS, a sealed starter deck Kaiba. Let me zoom out. So these are not the easiest things to come by. Um, not the cleanest box, though. Not the cleanest. So I purchased this for $250. Um, the first edition ones sell for five to 6000 they've been selling for. Um, so that's insane. But yeah, so this is an English one. These sell for probably, like I said, this box is not mint by any means. It's got the tear on the back, but it's still sealed. Um, probably sells for 300 to $500, depending on the day. Um, this not being a perfect, like this, this tab here is not even perfectly sealed. This side is, so it's, it is not the best, but it goes right there with my Yugi box. I now have one of each unlimited, really excited to add these to the collection. And last but not least, PSA 9, first edition Venusaur. Uh, purchased this off of, I believe it was Golden Auctions. Also, a really new shirt. 635. No, okay, I was checking the Zapto shirt to see how close they were. Um, purchased this off of Golden Auctions. And similarly, whoa, that's a big zoom. You can see a thick stamp there. Um, this was a decent value. So this one was purchased, I think it was like $3,300 or $3,200, which is right around market. Um, but I had been wanting to pick one of these up. Um, I've been wanting to complete this collection for a long time, the PSA 9 First Edition base. So I think I'm missing, let's see if I can remember, Charizard um, is the big one. But I'm missing Polyrath, Hitmonchan, Gyarados, I have Gyarados in an 8, but it's not a 9. Um, nine Tails and Mewtwo, I think are those, those are the 6. So if you know anybody selling any of those, let me know. Um, Charizard, I'm not in the market for it right now, but we'll see. You never know. Things happen. Really excited to get this off Golden Auctions. Those auction sites have been pretty huge for me completing this collection. Um auctionings auctions have been going pretty decent priced so really happy about that thoroughly enjoy those auctions and there's a few more coming up there's more coming up in uh, the near term i do have one more thing so i'm actually going to open something real quick because i purchased this from the local store so this is a 30 dollar Yu-Gi-Oh product that just came out um and those of you that don't know this is this is for speed duels which is like one of the four Yu-Gi-Oh formats out. You got Standard, you got Speed Duels, you got Duel Links, and you got Master Duel. Those are the last two are digital, but this is a $30 box. It's as, it's as bulky and heavy as a, as a booster box. It comes with eight pre-constructed decks sealed. Eight. All of these cards can be used in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh game. Which I find insane. You have then, this is the only randomized thing. There's eight, I think there's eight secret rare cards that come randomized, which was really cool. So, GX era is sought as, is thought to be the best era of Yu Gi Oh! Um, I know a lot of current players would probably disagree, but. It's got some really cool nostalgic cards for a lot of people. And I don't know. I really like this box because you get a ton of cards, like eight decks. They're smaller. These decks are smaller than the, the traditional deck, but uh, you get eight of them. And you get some really awesome cards for like old school formats. Like this card has been printed a million times, but it looks beautiful. It can be played in like a goat format. Rainbow Dragon. These cards just look sick. Prentice Magician. Love this card. Takoichi. Battle, Moko, Battle Enchanted Locomotive. Played the crap out of that thing. Ancient Gear Golem. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Ojama King. A couple more. Arm Dragon Level 7. And... Crystal Beast, I hate Crystal Beast. This thing's going in the trash. 
but I really wanted to buy that because I played Speed Duels. I have I have cards. I liked it because it's more of a older Yu-Gi-Oh. You get to play older. It's not as fast paced yet. So, I mean, how can you beat that? This thing's gorgeous. Look at that Choo Choo Train. They make some beautiful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Beautiful. So, I'm going to leave you all with that. I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out my mail day. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope none of your YouTubers get you today. Um, it's going to happen, though. Come to expect it. There are some shady people out there. Um, most of you haven't heard. I'm going to be doing my box break for the people that entered Sunday live, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right before, basically, I go live for my PWCC Weekly. So I hope to see you guys tune in for that. Looking forward to it. Um, I do have a Discord link down below in the description with a current giveaway going on. All you got to do is post a picture of a Diglett um, and include, like, the set name. That'd be awesome in the giveaway section, and you're entered. So you're going to win a half a box, if you win, of the new set. So check it out. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace. So, I had mentioned a mistake, and if you stuck around, you're the real MVP, so you get the, you get the juice. Um, this card, this card right here, I received it in the mail, um, and immediately cracked it open. Didn't realize what it was, so I received this box from Golden Auctions um, that was in the mail. My wife must have signed for it, but I just brought it upstairs and ripped it open without recording, which was... I immediately sharded myself. As soon as I saw the green, I'm like, uh-oh. Because there's always a concern where you could open it up and it'd be damaged. And I would then not have video proof because I didn't record it. I literally sharded myself thinking like, wow. I literally, I could be effed if this thing has damage. Um, luckily it did not. But that was a serious mistake I made. I definitely need to... Be more careful when I open my packages and be careful when you're opening your expensive packages. Definitely record it. Um, it goes a long way. So you, it's good to use when a case gets open on eBay. If you could show video of you either packaging or opening, it helps a ton. So keep that in mind. Now, peace. <laughs>